Okay guys, we are back with a team with a uh, level 95 Storm Wizard, aka Chase Titan Cloud. He's also Game Crazy Kid throughout the various places on the internet, such as Twitter, Twitch, and other various places, so say hello. Hi. And we're also joined with um, Josh Knight Thief, which is a Myth Wizard with, that is level 80. 51 damage, 132 the critical, uh, full Trisky here finally, he's got his Trisky hood. He needs to get the he needs to get a better of fame and ring because he can get so much better stuff in the bazaar. It's crazy he can, because he can get the fifty nine damage without the um, seven percent of fame because well mechs get screwed over with their pets quite literally or, or their stats, but that's a different story to cry over. So let's go in. Right. Best part about this dungeon or well the tower is because well because that's a weird transition word. Is it drops evil magma piece, meaning that it attracts yeah, everybody. Have... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's fine. Who wants to tank? Um, who has the most resist? I probably do, knowing the luck. Um, you have close. Oh come on! Ah, that guy come. Ooh, another myth wizard, but. Welp. That's interesting. Who wants a stun shield? Because that's the best thing I can do. Probably you have been. Yeah, probably you because you're the main hitter, I assume. Considering that you're a storm wizard yeah, that has probably. 33 uh, resistance and pretty good everything else. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good stats for a storm wizard. And health? Oh god, that's OP. <laughs> Look at it, almost 4k health. It took me forever. 87 storm damage, which is so godly. Anything above 60, in my opinion, is probably better. Like, once you get up to the range of 70 yeah. to 100 plus, you're a god, basically. <laughs> a 33% resistance to everything, which is insane for a storm. We're talking about storm, the class that's supposed to be a tank. Or tank. Pfft, that's ice. Uh, hitter, DPS guy, uh, destroyer of all worlds with low resist most likely, and eh, health. 399 crit, godly still. 129 critical block, nice. Uh, 28 incoming, 17 outgoing, 17 armor piercing, 91 power. And let's just see. Yeah, that's some pretty good stuff you have there. Thanks. Assuming a lot of it comes from your pet. Um. Yeah, it took me forever to get this pet, and so far it's my perfect one. I just have to see what it gets. <laughs> As I got so. fleas. These people. Yeah, I have that. I hate this game. This gives me nothing to do. Oh well, I'll just stun shield everybody. So, <laughs> when a frost giant comes and says, "Ha ha," it's gonna try to get you. Yep. Also, minions can all do frost shine somehow, which I would hate. Oh, that glitch is back, isn't it? Oh wait, no wait. I get this. That guy just fleed, meaning that it tricked the game, and it's the derp. Ah, <sighs> this game needs to know how to play properly. Yeah, I heard that they tried to fix the um the Hades glitch where you respawn them, but they um they never fixed they gave that, up. so people are still respawning. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you might as well if you try that hard. Well, isn't it like, one guy actually loses out on some loot for the first Hades? Isn't that the... Um, yeah, uh, one person has to flee after Hades is dead, and then he like, marks his spot so that he ports back, and then after the battle's done, Hades is there again. Yeah, your 15 resistance helps out. Pets are great for that. Only imagine if you had yeah. like the... Other various stuff like damage as well. Because in my opinion, I think that like critical for various um. Did you get the stormblade by mistake? The heck? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think storm critical for as a pet town's a bit overrated by people, or at least any critical in general. When you think about it, it gives you an extra two percent or something like that, or a couple percent. I mean, that it could be good if you want that, but. People do have to remember that 
as you go up in level, your percentage of critical clean is a lot lower. Because cr each critical gets to be decreased a bit. That's why you need more critical uh, rating. You can say. Yeah, I, I think, um, I've been seeing a lot of balance wizards with, like, 400 to 500 crit, and I just, I think that's just crazy. I mean, you're, they're trying to make sure luck's in their hands, I mean, yeah, I mean, having luck is nice, because, remember, it's a percentage chance that's going to go through a random number generator, so it could still screw you over, because that's how that program works, as we all know. It screws people over. It just ruins dreams. <laughs> That's what it does. Did I not put that on me? The heck? I don't know. I'm blind, aren't I? Oh, eh, hello. I just put on the other myth guy. Considering that I don't have much I want to do, and I'm looking for a faint for you, might as well do this because yeah, that would... it's fun. Slash, I don't trust that ice guy with Frost Giant. He can do that. Yeah. That's one of the evil spells because, what, other than it stunning people, it takes five and a half years. Oh, great. <laughs> Just like his um, great friend's um, Wing Dragon Raw, aka um, Disra, normally known as. And what was his name? Forest Lord. Yeah, they're evil people. That freaking Shadow Strikes Beastly. Yeah. If Divine wants to be timed out, I think. I haven't even been looking on the stream chat. I've just been <laughs> focusing on the game, yeah. so. Well, I can look at all chat because I have it where I set everything to be properly um, viewable for everything. I'm assuming it's gonna full pep tamp just to show off her amazing powers. I don't know. I mean, I could use sirens, but I'm I'm trying to find a colossal. Considering thing, how so. long it's taking you, you probably should just full pip temp, because that's the more yeah that's better true. solution. Because you get up to like 1,355 damage, if I recall. Yeah, I think so. I think that's right. Considering that I I uh, went to the calculator and did that a lot. Yeah, 80 times 14. Plus two seventy-five. Oh, okay, one thousand three hundred ninety-five. So close to fourteen hundred freaking damage, which is OP. So yeah, we know what's good here. Yeah, that's actually pretty great of a spell. It's just you have to save up a lot of pips though. But again, when you think about it, best attack all. Yeah. It's not called Team Speak Call, it's. Because you're probably thinking about, like, Skype, because that's how I, you call for Skype, right? Because <laughs> people normally associate things with Skype, which Skype's Skype, but. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, Skype's nice, but you don't have push to talk on Skype. Push to talk is, like, beautiful. It's the best thing in the world. Is what you think about it, that means you can only send what you wa want to send when you want to, like for voice. Beautiful thing. Yeah. Of course, I don't use it because I stream slash record, and that's a painful thing to do for especially streaming, but how they can use it one of these days is just something lazy too. Used to. I couldn't even imagine how you like edit all of your videos with the audio because it just looks so complicated. But with my uh, stream or with my uh, editing streams, is like you're like, crap, this is too much work. Rage quit. <laughs> it's probably what most people are thinking. It's like, oh, yeah, this is called future proofing my uh, editing career. Ah, uh, that critical going through. Haven't went through in a while, so I kind of deserve that. Considering how much I block, and with 95 block, I'm just like surprised how much I freaking block with my percentage wise, right? As a backup. Yeah. Like, what's the odds of blocking with my 95 block at my level? Because that's probably decreased as well. As you fizzle. And of course, yeah, as I fizzle. Yeah. Now, what is more of an overpowered setup, you can say for Storm, is they have 30 plus accuracy. Now that's good. 
plus good damage and critical. Yeah. Oh my god, you'll be freaking godly. But I mean, your setup's so good though, because you're like on one side of the storm that's like pretty good, other than the accuracy part. Mm -hmm. And tell you the truth, with a pet, you do have actually nah, that's more focused on a pet until you have like good starting accuracy. Because I think with most setups, yeah. you need to have um, what's it called? Uh, good enough uh, accuracy with itself to do anything with it. Because pets only can go up six. There's like a couple accuracies, but you only want one accuracy if you want to use that pet to max out your accuracies. At least for Myth, you're close to max ac accuracy with uh, Myth gear. That's the good part. Yeah. Because basically, if I replace my boots with the Oracle True Slippers, I can't fizzle, have more like 61 damage, and yeah. Plus, get a good pet. Oh god, it's beautiful, basically. Think of it as OP Myth. Because Myth gets some pretty good all around stuff. And the problem is, Myth is more of a yeah, they school do. that does everything. And also mm -hmm. murders your soul, though, but it's pretty good. I like it, but it's just mainly you don't get any more than 60 damage. I mean, 60 damage is pushing it with most setups. Because we're talking about rings and the thing. Thames being like only up to 6% damage. There's some that go to 7, but there's only the crafted stuff from Safaria, from what I've seen. And also the um, Tower to Health and a Thame from the first boss. Yeah. Is that the um, is that the Lexicon yeah, Blade? Yeah, Lexicon Blade is the, the best thing you can get for a Myth Wizard. Absolutely, until yeah. you get to a higher level. Tell you the truth, this is probably the best all around stat thing because lots of health, mana, and outgoing. Like 15 outgoing is pretty good. And okay, power pip. I, I'm stuck with 73% power pip. That's screwy. <laughs> well, again, remember, it's about the random number generator here, and normally the 70 works pretty well. It's just that. Well, 73. But 73 also screws you over. Like, yeah, sorry, dude. Nope. Yeah. Um, I can't wait until I can farm. Which I might already be farming for. Uh, my my ring, that's called uh, Stone from the Other Side. That gives you freaking 33% outgoing with good power, pip, and mana, and everything. Doesn't that oh sound fun? Oh my gosh. Oh, I, or I have the page yeah. open, by the way. Conveniently, without even knowing. This is called from this boss. If so, I'm gonna, like, laugh. Oh, that's Storm Owl. He's strong. Yeah. See why Storm's OP? Yeah. Enough! You may cross the hundred year bridge at your leisure. Crappy gear, come on. Evil Magma P, will you? Okay, no, you're not our friend. Okay. Yeah, here's what the stone on the other side gives you 242 more health, 173 more mana, 12% power pay. Let's see what my ring gives me. Probably 10. Okay, 18. Crap. Um, <laughs> 15 universal critical block and 33% outgoing life. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, by the way, there's a better item for 89 wizards slash anyone pretty much at 90 plus. It's um, from Belloc. Gives 35% outgoing. <laughs> Extra 2% from the best boss ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the front gate in the career Leon. Target career Leon, career Leon. Now that you are safely inside the city, it is time to seek out Sir Brennan's steward, Kay. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. I believe this is the place where you get to face all those bosses that- ooh, parchment. Uh, face all those bosses that will drop evil magma peas. So basically, think of it as our uh, progression. We get to force the farm for evil magma peas per battle. Which sounds nice. Yeah. This is the problem is you might not get him. Oh, here's a trolley thing that my brother told me when he was facing here. He got like one from every boss, maybe two or so, and he deleted them all by mistake. Oh. Yeah, he was that oh lucky. He is like the luck god that normally screws him over because he deletes stuff for who knows why. <laughs> now he only has two from the ones he bought with crowns. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk to Miss Seward K. Are your friend or foe, stranger? 
I mean, Mr. I hate character models. They make you think that um, a boy character is a girl character. There are freaking character models. Yeah, that's fun. So let's continue talking to him. Perfect. It's occasion. While I search, you can help. Hobgoblin plunderers ransacked the estate and stole the knight's armor and shield. Can you get them back? Here's what's really trolly about these new defeating collect quests that they're giving us. Basically, it's like, okay, go ahead and murder these guys uh, for one item. After you get this one item, you have to murder them for another item. So basically, two different counters for the same enemy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that yeah. concept. It's like, yeah, this is the concept of being evil. So we'll be back after we beat up these fire guys. It's not like these guys are the same models as Wisteria enemies. No, no, no. Yes, they are. Okay, we'll see you guys as soon as we're back. What's the storm wizard dead? It's like running in his Archangel of Terror. You recovered Sir Brennan's kit. You savages defaced Sir Brennan's armor. This just won't do. It must be repaired before I return it to him. Can you track down Ashton Brushtail, the master arms painter? She's still in town. Ask if she'll restore Sir Brennan's shield. Okay, we're gonna have to talk to Ashlyn and ask Ashlyn to restore the shield. I like the theme of this world and its atmosphere, right? It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. I think it is a lot less merciful, uh, maybe not, than uh, Safaria. Safaria was like evil. Freaking lions and zebras and rhinos and other things <laughs> that are evil. Okay, let's talk to Ashlyn Brushtail. Oh goodness, I could use your help. Can you please help? These horrible whiptail Pantera have trapped me here. Can you drive them away? <laughs> Here's my question: Why can't you just get out the way I do? Just go hug the wall uh, until you go and then run away. She's so scared of the storm cats. She's scared of the spell that they have. Their special unique spell of them is crashing her. <laughs> it's foxes for you. Okay. Even more defeat quests. This is at least not defeating collect. Doing 12,000 XP? That's gonna level me up. Yay. We only need 5,000 XP. Good. Fun fact. Well, that's awesome. I just leveled up to 76 today. Even though I technically did every... Uh, all the other quests that are available in, uh, what's that one we're called, uh, Winter Tusk to finish it up, and, uh, a couple of quests in, uh, what's it called, Mushu just to get it off my list, even though I have to do more of them. I just have to do the, the art history and the lore of runes, which are the book quests, book slash history quests in Grizzleheim and, um, Safaria, but that's later. Anyways, we'll be back momentarily. Yeah. That was wonderfully brave. My cousin Emaine is missing. We got separated in the attack. If you can find her, I'll be happy to help you with your shield. Can you ask at the town round barricade and see if anyone's seen Emaine Cloudtail? Start with a friend, Inis Idol. Okay, I'll talk to Inil, Inil's Idol to try to find people. Robin bravely rode forth from Avalon. Not afraid to die was he. Also, Robin bravely. Not afraid to be torn apart by vicious little foundlings. Not afraid to be smashed to pulp by handsome Fomori. This route isn't working. Oh, sorry, you're looking for a main cloud tail? I've no idea. You could ask Jeremiah Carver over there. <laughs> Main? Yes, I saw her being chased away from here by hobgoblin plunderers. I couldn't reach her. Please, tell Ashley. Here's the best part about these uh, little, um, like, skunk guys. They're very questionable and are clueless. Cough, cough, they're gigantic <laughs> question marks. Seriously, like, help me. I don't know what to do slash do things for me. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works, Mr. Chase. Think about it, gigantically oversized things because they're so short. Again, we don't really have that many types of models in this game, and well, I think they're a, quite a nice and unique model, right? 
Yeah. I feel like some of the models of Avalon are like some of the best that King's Rill has done in this game. That seemed unique. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to Ashlyn. Chased by hobgoblin plunderers? That's awful! Please round up some hobgoblin plunderers and scare them into telling you what they did with my cousin Emane. And of course, because of um, pure logic is great, we're going to have to do another defeat quest. That's a conveniently defeating quest. Collect, collect, collect. Darn freaking <laughs> voice. Yeah. So these fire guys up here in the crater Leon, in the new upper clear Leon that we are going to explore. This is actually a pretty nice decorated town they have there, or here. Yeah, I think is. this is some of like King's Rule's best decorated work. I, I've seen Chrysalis, Owl Chrysalis, I think for the most part most of Azteca, but Azteca is a weird world. I heard, which, and it's played a bit. Yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people like Azteca. Most people don't. I mean, I like the spells and stuff, and I like the world itself, just how it is. I mean, yeah, it might be a lot of unlikable things and things that you just want to like throw up on, but yeah. Anyways, guys, we will be back yet again and after punching the screen. Even though, well, I feel like this is more of a noble type of divinity collect from Safari. Safari is just like, they just give you excuses and don't put like, good hard reasoning behind it, right? Yeah. I mean, this is actually a fair and legitimate thing to say, pretty much. This is good. This is the, like the good Defeaty Collect. This is where the good ones come in with pride and enemies that look like they're from Wisteria, even though they're not slash slightly modified uh, models because it's easy to do that. Okay, we'll be back after we uh, laugh at these hobbling, gobbling guys.